Okay, here I'm going to show you how to calculate the mean of grouped data. Now, for those of you who don't remember what the mean is or how to calculate the mean of any data, basically what it is is if you have a set of data values, it's adding up all of the data values and dividing by however many data values there are. But when we have grouped data, we have to do it in a slightly different way because, as you can see with grouped data, and here on the screen I've already drawn a grouped frequency table for you, um, we know the frequency of the data values, but we don't actually know what the data values are. So this first column, this shows the intervals that we're dealing with, and this shows the number of data values that fall um, between all of those intervals. So over here we've got two data values that fall between the values of 30 and, and 40. Here we've got three data values that fall between the values of 30, uh, 40 and 50, etc. Um, so with, with this type of frequency table we have to calculate the mean in a slightly different way and I'm going to show you how to do that here. The first thing we have to calculate though is we have to calculate what we call the class center. So I'm going to draw another column over here and I'm going to calculate the class center in that column. Now the class center I'm going to show as X. Okay. Now what the class center is, it's actually the average between both of these um, highest and lowest data values. So the reason why we do the class center is because we know um, by the frequency that there are two values that fall between 30 and less than 40, but we don't actually know what those values are. They could be anything. In fact, they could be an infinite number of data values that could be between those because we have to be inclusive of all decimals and, and as we know decimals uh, can be infinite if we want them to be. So we could have two data values, one of them could be 30.5, the other one could be 39.7. You know, we, we don't really know, we're not really sure. So what we do is we take the average of 30 and 40 and we call this our class center. So I'll choose a different color, choose purple. Um, the way we do that is we're pretty much just adding 30 plus 40 and then we're dividing by 2. So we're taking that middle value. So that's going to be 35. And seeing as these are intervals of 10, we're pretty much um, just going up by 10. So 40 plus 50 is 90 divided by 2 is 45. And our next one's going to be 55 then we're going to get 65, then we're going to get 75, okay? So these are going to be our five class centers. So what this table now tells us is that we've got two data values that are 35, three data values that are 45, six data values that are 55, four data values that are 65, and one data value that is 75. Now, obviously, this is going to reduce the accuracy of our, of our final results, um, but, you know, considering the time that we can save using this method, especially if we've got a, a really large number of data values that we're dealing with or the range of our data values is really high, this method will save us a lot of time. So pretty much the first step would be to calculate this class center. So we know that with um, calculating the mean of any data, we're pretty much just adding up all of our data values and dividing by however many data values we've got. So what we can do is we can add up these class centers over here. So we can say 35 plus 35 plus 45 plus 45 plus 45 plus 55 plus 55 plus 55 plus 55 plus 55 plus 55 because we've got two um, 35s, three 45s, six 55s, etc. Or we can take a shortcut and we can do this by drawing another column and calling this f times x. So basically, because we've got the same data value repeated, we don't really have to add them all up. What we need to do, or what we can do, is simply multiply the number of data values, which is our frequency over here. Okay, so we've got our frequency. So we can multiply our frequency by our data value and we get the f times x column. So we're pretty much just going 2 
times 35 and we're going 3 times 45 and 6 times 55 4 times 65 and 1 times 75 and what we get is we get this is 70 this is going to give us 135 135 this is going to give us 330 this is going to be 260 and obviously this one's going to be 75 okay so that's our next step so now that column f times x that pretty much just gives us like we're pretty much just halfway there um, to calculating our total number of data values added up so we've grouped together each of the same data value and multiplied it by however many times that data value occurs so we get that f times x column so now because we know that calculating the mean is adding up all of the data values and dividing by however many there are I'm going to introduce you to this one final um, thing and that is this symbol here now you might have seen this symbol before this is the sum of symbol um, we use that quite a bit in calculating the mean of grouped data and all it really means is the the sum of all values in each of the columns so if we're looking at um, working out our mean we pretty much have to add up all of our um, data values and divide them by the frequency or the number of data values there are so I'm going to draw another row down here and this is going to be my total totals row. Now I need to use this sum of symbol twice. One would be to calculate the sum of all of my frequencies, so the sum of f, and one would be the sum of fx. So you'll see that in both the mean formula and in both of those columns in every grouped frequency table when you're calculating the mean and all that is is pretty much just adding up all of our frequencies together so that's 2 plus 3 that gives us 5 plus 6 is 11 plus 4 um, is 15 plus 1 is 16 so we have 16 data values we then have to add up all of our values in our f times x column and what that will give us would be uh, 870. So now, what do we do with both of these? We do what we do in every mean calculation and that is divide total number of data values, sorry, total uh, number of data values added up by the number of data values there are. So we can write a formula for this and generally our mean is represented by this little symbol x with that little line over the top and we would divide f of x by the sum of f so if you ever see this formula here all that is is dividing the um, number of data values added up by the number of data's, data values we have so we've got 870 divided by 16 and that gives us uh, 54.38. So our mean is 54.38, and we can round that to 54. So it is a little bit more complicated um, calculating the mean of grouped data. It's not difficult, it's just it can be long and time consuming because you have to do a whole bunch of, like it's not as simple as just adding all of the values you've got right in front of you. You have to actually work out what they, those values may be. But at the end of the day, it's not, it, it's not too hard and I, I hope that this video clarified things for, for you. So 
that's it.